My name is Christopher Lee Brown and Jr. from the movie Kingdom World and welcome back to my channel. Before I give you my overall thoughts on the movie Your Place and Mine starring Ashton Kutcher and Reese Witherspoon, here's the premise of the movie. When Best Friends and Total Opposites Deb Debbie played by Reese Witherspoon and Peter who played, is played by Ashton Kutcher, mm, they swap homes for a week. Mm, they swap homes for a week and they get poked into each other's lives that could open up the door to love. That's the basic premise of the movie. But here's my overall issue with the movie. I didn't enjoy the first act that much. I think for me they didn't execute the present, they didn't execute the opening movie that well. To me, I was a little bit lost and kind of like 10 minutes in the, in the movie. I thought this movie is, I'm, I think that's the overall reason. At the time, I didn't get it until I kind of complained my thoughts a little bit, like why I didn't enjoy like the first 30 minutes of the movie compared to like stuff in the middle act and third act. And I think the reason why is the execution of the movie. So I'm going to tell you how this movie opens up, then I'll tell you what we we'll probably would have done differently. So, um, okay, we opened the movie in, 2000, in 2002, when we see Debbie and Peter kissing heavily in the living room in Debbie's parents' house. Then they both went to Debbie's room and they obviously did it. Then, flash forward 20 years later in 2022. They both moved on, but still keep in touch, so kind of like being friends and all that. And Jack moved to then some long the world after they broke up. Jack moved to New York, and he is wealthy, and Deb Debbie always stayed in Los Angeles. Then, getting in the last twenty years, in the time of part. Debbie had a name named had a name had a son named Jack, and I think Jack that that left him before he was born. I think they said that in the movie not to show only watched it once. So this is kind of my first impression thoughts. But so long story short, Debbie needs to go to New York to pers pursue her dream job. I think it was a writer or an editor or something like that, but. She, but she doesn't have a babysitter to watch Jack because Jack's a little kid. I think, I think in, to his teens, I think that's around well, the teenage years that how older than Jack, so obviously he's in school, obviously. So Peter don't volunteer, volunteering himself and drop everything to go to LA and watch her son, to watch her son and Debbie can stay at Peter's place. So that's the overall kind of arc in the premise of this of this movie. This like this is a romantic comedy, so this is a typical rom com essentially. And like I said, I wasn't really into this movie into this movie about a little over thirty minutes into the movie. Kind of well, the first night when Jack, well, when Peter was watching Jack. That's kind of when I got a little bit into it. And I think the reason being that because the execution of the first act. I think it's kind of confusing. If you watch it like, about to watch it and never heard about it, then watch the premise. Is the first act was kind of confusing to me a little bit. Maybe it's that it's against me, maybe because of my learning dis disability, but... Because I didn't enjoy like from like the middle act throughout the third act, I enjoyed it. I got in more when the movie keeps going on, not on and on, like a dragging ending, but like when the movie, how the movie plays out from the middle act, act the second act and the third act, I was keep getting invested. But for somehow it's not the first act. But like for me, I think the, 
I think because the execution of the first act, for me, I think they did a clunky job of telling the first act of the movie, in my opinion. Just like I said, this is my first impression start, and this is kind of like my reasoning and theory behind it. This is what I would have done, probably. And like I said, this so I guess started this, where after watching the movie, I comprehend like, well, probably, well, what I've done, so... This is what, what I have done. I will start the movie in 2022, but the movie opens up in the bar. Peter and his friends staring each other to pick up to pick up girls. If that person didn't scold, that person that didn't scold will owe his friends money. But if the person scolds, the friend will owe the person money, and it will be Peter and two of his guy friends. Mm. I kind of, I'm kind of lost my son. So, so Peter and so honestly, Peter's two friends didn't go. Then it's Peter's. It is Peter's turn. Hmm. And sorry, my thing is too long about this. So now it's now it's Peter's turn. Peter walked up, mm, walked up to Debbie, who was sitting at a stool in the bar, like where the table is, like kind of well, with the bartender making drinks. That's where Debbie was sitting. Peter started making conversation with her. At first, Debbie didn't pay attention him. At first, then then once Debbie turns around and finds out. How attractive Peter is. Debbie started paying really close attention to him and they started talking about their childhood and their life goals using this using a smart TV. This, this is my first time using a smart TV. Like, sorry about this. Ah. Hold. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry about taking too long. So they were talking about their childhood and their life goals. Then we get into the scene where the movie opens up, but instead of flashing forward right away, we get more scenes from what happened after that night. After like the breakup, we get scenes like Debbie hooking up with Jack's bio biological father. Jack's found. Mm, we can see. We see like Jack's biological. That leaving Debbie when he finds out that she that that Debbie's pregnant. We see Peter leaving to go to New York and living the su the successful life. We see the birth of Jack. I could be wrong, but I think they think they said that Peter was there for the birth of Jack. I think, like I said, I only watched this movie once. Anyways, because when they flash forward twenty years, I was confused. At first, until they mentioned Jack, I was com when they started mentioning Jack, I was kind of confused. With so I don't know what is going on. Like I wasn't like paying really full attention in the beginning of the first act. So I may be wrong, wrong on this how the execution of film played out. So up in. Mm, up until like 30 minutes and I kind of got into it, not fully, but once the murder act and the third act played out, I got more and more into it. So like that's kind of like my overall thoughts. I thought the performance was fine. I'm, I'm not, I'm, honestly I'm not a big, big fan of Ashton Kutcher. I think he did a good job at, at, at his performances and everything I've seen. Don't, Thing I've seen him in movie-wise, 
only movie, the only movie I seen in movie wise was Dude's Well was my call. I grew up with that movie and watched it a few times as a child and a couple times as an adult. So that was, and the only show I really fully paying attention to was Walt, when he played Walden Schmidt on Trash Men when they killed off Charlie Sheen's character. Trash Men is one of my this is my favorite comedy shows of all time. And it's my third favorite shows of all time as well. Like I'm saying, I know people have thoughts on the years with Walden Schmidt. It isn't decent. I think he, his character Walden Schmidt was fine as well. I said, he's not an actor that I always typically goes to, but what I've seen him, he did fine. Not wasn't into that 70s show. Watched bits and pieces in and there around the decade of 2010s when it was on TV. I wasn't really full paying attention to that show, but when I watched bits and pieces of it when it was on, kind of got into the branch a little bit here and there because my parents watched that show, but. Overall, like, I don't seek out action culture movies or stuff. Even with, I don't know, I think this is my first Reese Witherspoon movie that I saw. But, but I had definitely have heard her name before. I thought, like, the chem, I thought, like, the chemistry between of those two was really well. The exploration, how love works, how love is crazy, obviously. So, that's my that's like my overall gripe with the movie is like kind of the first act, but I like the third act definitely at the airport. The scenes with Jack and Peter was really good, and it was mentioned that it was also mentioned that Jack has not good with kids, but has never taken care of a kid or child before, so he was kind of like the relaxed, chill type of person. He's not really strict or played by the rules. Then Jack's mother, like Jack's mother, didn't want, doesn't want him to play contact sports, drink coffee, watch horror movie stuff like that. So she's like, mm, ha so like, say in the premise of the movie that where it's like they have different, lives different, totally opposite lives. So you could, and you could totally see that. But like I said, like, if the opening, if they execute the opening a little bit better, if they execute the movie a little bit better, this definitely would have been an buy on, only on physical media. And this could have been like, a, cause if I'm, I enjoy, if I enjoyed the first act like I enjoyed the middle act and the third act, this probably would be a top three tier. Definitely as why not been in, could have been like a top three movie so far of this year for me. Because I really enjoyed the first the set the definitely I enjoyed the second act and definitely the third act of this movie really well. But the first act I wasn't really into for I think because of that reason. But like that's like the theory behind why I think I wasn't enjoying the first act that much. And really hardly didn't pay attention. So, as of right now, I give it an owner on digital. Because I did enjoy, I did enjoy the performances by the, of the Ashton Kutcher character and Reese Willowspoon character and the kids, obviously. But that's like the biggest gripe I could have right now is like they for me somehow they I wasn't into the first act that much and because I think because of that reason I said so that is if you have seen it comment down below like did you enjoy it much more than I did like comment down below if you, if you agree with me or not and tell me why I would love to know so that is like I said my thoughts on the movie so remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell button, hit the thumbs up button, share this video, comment down below, and follow my face Facebook group at Movie Fandom Kingdom Land. And that will be it. And remember, good vibes only.